Everyone who's ever known me has said the same thing, that I have very base model energy. So in the spirit of that, we're gonna check out the new Mac Mini with the M2 chip absolute base model specifically for music only. Here's how they get you, okay? Because it's like, this is a great deal on its surface, we're gonna find out. It's $600 for basically everything that you could ever want to get into the Mac eco ecosystem. It's just a little box that connects to a monitor and all your other peripherals and stuff, right? So $600 seems like an incredible deal. It's actually only 500 if you can get a student discount. So if you can go find yourself like, a zoomer and trade them some Fruity Pebble vapes to just accompany you to the Apple store, you can get it for 500. I was not able to do that. I paid the full 599 for this bad boy. But I already had like a TV here to use as a monitor and I was able to score some, uh, some old keyboards and a mouse off of my boy Brian. <laughs> so we're gonna do this specifically just for music. Like I said, the base model only comes with eight gigs of unified memory. We're gonna see if that's enough. In my experience, eight gigs has always been kind of riding dirty uh, when you're working with like a bunch of plugins and stuff like that, but apparently this unified memory is supposed to be better. So we're gonna put it through with the paces. And it also has a 256 gig solid state hard drive, which is like, oh, is that is that enough? For video editing, I would say it's not enough. So this is not for video editing. Uh, again, uh, my, my job is like a content creator. So I've got the decked out MacBook for that. I prefer editing audio stuff on a desktop over a laptop. This is my own thing. So no video, no video on this. This video will be edited on the MacBook. But again, how they get you, why it's so dirty is because it's such a great deal as a base model but as soon as you start upgrading, it gets super pricey. Like it's an extra $200 just to upgrade the RAM. It's an extra $200 just to upgrade the hard drive, okay? Now, uh, why that's also dirty is because you can't do it after the fact. You have to decide right away. So stick with me the next couple of days. I'm gonna be putting through its paces, making some music, using a lot of plugins, doing acoustic and analog instruments. And we're just gonna see if I wasted a bunch of money and this isn't gonna be good for me, or if maybe this is something that is like a super attractively priced, reasonable thing that you could do. Uh, another thing, if you're an Apple product owner, you're gonna know that you have to keep this box forever and never use it again. So make sure that you have space in your house or apartment just to store an empty box that you just feel bad throwing away. All right, another thing about the base model is it has less ports, but it has enough, okay? So it's got two USB-C, one of those I'm using as the monitor out, uh, the other one I'm using going into my interface. Uh, it's got two regular USBs, one of them I'm just going into my keyboard, which I got the, the sweet old one that has the ports in it, so the mouse is part of that. So again, you can get a hub. Uh, yeah, there's that's, that's basically it. It has a little bit of a speaker type thing built into it, but other than that, it's cool. Uh, if you're worried about doing like, like Zoom meetings and stuff, the newest OS also uses the continuity feature where you can use like your phone as uh, the camera for like, you know, if you have like Zoom meetings and stuff like that. So we're good to go on that. Okay, so the first test is just to see how fast it kind of downloads everything and how much room is left on this tiny, tiny hard drive after I have everything. That's the other thing is like how, how big is, are the system files and stuff once I get everything that I feel like I need to start working in Logic, what I use, right? So everything is lightning fast so far. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's eight gigs, 256 hard drive. Uh, once I had everything installed, so what I, what I mean by everything is Logic and then the assortment of most of the audio plugins I use. Now again, you can keep some of these, uh, especially like plugin wise on like external hard drives, but I always prefer to have the stuff that I use most of the time natively on the drive. So let's see how much space we have left after installing all my Arturia software synths and uh, plug-in mixing effects and stuff, and then a couple fab filter ones too. We have, okay, so about 200 gigs available out of the 250 that it ships with. So what I consider to be the system files, the operating system, logic, and then the main go-to plugins that I think is probably most people would use. That takes up about 50 gigs out of 250. So you have the rest to just kind of work with or you know, download high resolution cat videos or whatever it is that you're doing to help you be inspired on a desktop. So now let's actually go through the experience of 
what it feels like to make music. Now, I'm not gonna be giving you like benchmark tests. You can find other YouTube channels to do meaningless benchmark numbers. Like, oh, crunching this for 15 hours, this. That's not what you're gonna see here. This is gonna be more played loose by feel and how this stacks, uh, stacks up compared to my loaded iMac I have in my main studio. And then even if I have to work on my laptop around here over the next couple days. So, uh, let's see how it goes. All right, so here we go, some real life examples. Right now, I am working on an ambient kind of background yoga music track for my girl, Banana Blondie. Shout out, link in the description, best yoga influencer on earth. So this is an opportunity that's gonna be all digital. I have 20 instances of the Arturia plugin augmented strings. So it's a lot of, CPU intensive uh, activity going on here. Uh, I can measure the actual CPU load here on Logic right here, this little window right there. The performance meter. This plugin's great. So yeah, basically, uh, like I said, I have 20 instances of this open. This is way more than I would ever actually use, but it seems to be handling it pretty well, pretty responsively. Let me try to find something that's not just a pure swell real quick. All right, so I'm actually just doing a piano because I can hear the hits more. No, no delay or anything. Which I, again, super impressive for 20 instances. Uh, just so you know, gear wise, I'm just playing the Arturia Mini Freak as a MIDI controller, and I'm going into the Avid Mbox Studio, uh, going in through Logic. But yeah, uh, let's just kind of bounce it, see how long it takes. And uh, then maybe I'll do something with a little bit more analog instruments just to check that out too. Yeah, so again, I think it's super dirty that uh, it's 200 extra dollars just to upgrade either the RAM or the storage. So at that point, it goes from being a very affordable base model computer, which is the whole reason I want to do this video anyways, to see if like the base model one is it, because it's such a good value, but can it really handle everything? Like as soon as you start adding upgrades, then you're well over like a thousand dollar machine, which you know, still worth it for sure. Like my MacBook Pro is, is amazing, but it was not a good deal by any stretch of the imagination. So, you know, this is why we're doing this whole thing. All right, so it took like four minutes to export a six minute song. Uh, I would say that's a little longer than it would have taken my loaded computer to do, but I still feel like that's that's reasonable. So I'm not upset about that. Uh, but like I said, there I have played with computers that do it a little bit faster, but again, acceptable, adequate bounce time, especially considering the just amount of tracks that I have going on in this session. I was just gonna throw down a little bit of a acoustic guitar solo jam, see how it goes, see how, uh, how it compares to my usual experience to do it. I gotta say, overall, super impressed. Uh, incredible machine, 599, totally worth it. Like I said, if you can get a Zoomer Vape Bro along with you, $500, even better. But uh, yeah, it seems like the base model is doing the job just fine. Like I said, this is music only, audio only. I already did up 24 tracks. Uh, handled everything I threw at it. Super fast, just for like internet and stuff too, obviously. So yeah, it has the right amount of ports. Uh, I think you can get by. You know, the temptation is definitely gonna be to uh, upgrade a little bit, but man, like I said, for just Project Studio, getting the job done, I give it my 100% endorsement. Definitely glad that I picked this up. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, hit them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.